Hi everybody, I'm Donna Frasca, color expert for DecoratingByDonna.com. Today I want to talk a little bit about color, of course, but how it pertains to branding. Uh, really important, uh, what colors are, are you going to use to represent your company and your business? Tuesday on Twitter, Lori Sawaya and I, we host a um, Twitter color chat, hashtag color chat, uh, every Tuesday, well actually every other, every other Tuesday. Tuesday night, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Time. And we talk about color, whether it's color in the home, textiles, color of your car, business, uh, marketing, branding, really anything at all. Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, we, we will have a guest, Brandon Smith. You know, he's amazing, amazing guy in, uh, of D-Scoop Media. And he'll be talking about branding and color choices. He provided a few questions for us, and I just want to read them to you uh, so you kind of know what our tweet chat will be about. Um, and his first question is, the essence of branding is to tell a visual story through color, symbolism, and typography. What colors are you using to tell your story? It's really important. Again, colors, as we know, are very symbolic. So what color or colors are you going to use to represent or portray your entire company or business. A lot of research needs to go into that. Well, then his second question is, uh, research shows that 62 to 90% of a person's first impression of a brand is based on color alone. What do your colors portray about your brand? Okay, that's, that's going to be a great topic of conversation. That'll be question two. He has question three, being color statement, color can be a great brand identifier. Think Tiffany Blue, right? Isn't that? Everybody knows Tiffany Blue right away. Comes to jewelry, expensive, luxury, amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, jewelry when you think of, of that particular blue. How are you using identifying colors to solidify your brand's place in your market? Okay, another, another example is Home Depot Orange. Oh gosh, right? When I put this blouse on today, what did I think of Home Depot? Is that good? Maybe, maybe not. Good for Home Depot, maybe not for me. So, uh, I mean, just seriously though, every time I see orange, I think of Home Depot. Every time we see Tiffany Blue, I just called it Tiffany Blue. We think of Tiffany Jewelry. Number four, Brandon will be asking, cultural differences and personal preferences are major factors when determining a color story worth and can break a a brand if not interpreted correctly. Let's talk about examples about that. What colors have you, that you know of that have been a great success or a total failure? And why? Why did that happen? What colors did you choose that just shot your brand right down? And the last question that Brandon will be asking, talking about on, on our Twitter chat, accessibility is the key to a brand's success. How does a brand's color translate to those with visual impairments? Wow, that's really huge. How does that happen? You know what, if you want to know, join us Tuesday, hashtag color chat on Twitter. Again, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Time. And uh, I will provide all the links for that Twitter chat and for Brandon. Don't miss this one, it's really important. If you're starting a blog, a business, if you already have a business and it's not going well, could be because your colors. Okay, everybody, I'm Donna Frasca. See you on Tuesday on Twitter.